he saw him, he saw himself, <laughs> he saw oh himself, and he just, I can see myself, what's, what do you call it, a viewfinder, isn't it? not a viewfinder, it's, it's just a screen, salam alaikum, how are you doing, Bilal? I'm good, bro, how are you? I'm good, are you excited for the show today? I'm very excited, I'm just here having breakfast, as you can see, you're driving, isn't it? I'm driving, yeah. you know the longest drive I've done, nine hours, nine, uh, I've been to London, nothing. what have you done? I have done 11 hours non-stop, bro, my record driving is like, 30 minutes, maybe, on the freeway? <laughs> what's his Motorway! Oh, we gave you English! And what's your, uh, let me ask, what's the longest you've driven before? <laughs> <laughs> Zero hours. <laughs> Faisal, how, what's the longest you've driven for? Well, as I've been in the car, I've actually driven the car. Driven the car. Oh, driven the car, maybe just Manchester. So, four hours. No, Newcastle, I drove Newcastle. No, but that, for me, that wasn't fine, bro, because I don't know how to drive. I'll throw it at the camera. Oh, go on, then. throw it at the camera. Yeah, 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 and then... Oh, throw it, throw it. Uh, I packed one. Yeah, that's good enough. That actually looks sick. Right, right in the middle as well. Well, like the audience, all they see is Kareem on their phone. They don't know what you're doing, bro. <laughs> I'm just acting like I'm working. <laughs> and Nadir, what's your role today? It's my role. Yeah, what's your I role? Have a role. <laughs> I don't know, you know. Well, I think I might. I might. Um, are you gonna be on stage? Bro, Maybe for the quiz. I, I think. Well, that's I how you, how that's how you got the fresh trim, man. This is not even fresh, no, Akhaya, man. Can you tell me? Can you tell me what time you were meant to arrive here bro, and what time it is now? But I'm leaving one hour after you, don't worry about that. Bro, when it's a Pakistan, you're on timing. Yeah. That's it, don't that's worry fine, about yeah. Bro, don't pay me out, yeah. So sure. hey, can you just bro, tell bro. the audience what he did in Birmingham? Bro, he cut his hair in Birmingham. <laughs> but the thing is, he ended up with worse hair than he started with. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ingman, you're going to go in the van. Because in the van? I'm going to film BTS in the van. Like, the vibes, you know? Am I going to be in the back of the van? <laughs> <laughs> Shayan, what are you doing, bro? These are the questions. Oh, these are the questions. Yeah. What do I write again? Uh, Q&A questions with Zach and Yusuf. Bear in mind, yeah, since I've started a full-time job, I've barely touched my course for like three months, yeah. So, I started in September, yeah. I'm still on Unit 1, bro. One big con is obviously that you'll miss out on doing your course, right? Yeah. Now let's look at the pros, right? Yeah. So, you'll be with the brothers, yeah. Might be, which is always Iman boosting, being with the brothers. Yeah. Um, the brothers are your age, so it's like, you know, like, Five. How, how, how much time do we have till we take off? To be honest, as soon as this is done, we're ready, so maybe 10 minutes. Mm. What are you doing, bro? Using a vacuum, bro. Vacuum, vacuum bro. That's not a vacuum, that's a Hoover, bro. He doesn't know about Henry the Hoover. Henry the vacuum? You know, if you go to my, <coughs> you go to my house, you'll see this. You see a fat adapter, it's an American adapter, to change things back to the way they were. <laughs> this, not the original state of a plug. Let it go back to where it needs to be. Okay, Shujin, the van, and my car, we've got three bays that they've given us in the venue. So oh, we're, it's a different postcode. You just give your name. We're seeing your car, because they only allowed us three cars in the venue. So your car texts you a uh, postcode for a car park. How you doing, man? You ready, bro? We did enough, Hazel. Just doing some reserved um, signs. Kareem, what are you doing now? Right, I'm acting like I'm working again. Again? Yeah. Wow, twice in a row. Tajid, what are you doing? Me, I'm mentally preparing myself for the drive. For the four hour drive, yeah? Yeah. Just want to get going now. Cheyenne, you're going to be on the Freshly Grounded uh, podcast one day, and this is what it's going to look like. You and I, my friend from LA, how are you? Are you fine? How is everything? Perfect. I've got one question for you, one question only. Okay. What is the biggest small thing that you could do today? Biggest small thing I can do today, bring my wife some flowers. So maybe we'll go to Manchester and get some flowers. Oh, oh, oh. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salam ala abdillahi wa rasulih nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Brother, so again, we're at the same place as last time in Birmingham. We're going to travel now, inshallah. We're going to leave our families and we're going to leave everything. We're going to go over, inshallah, to Manchester. This is the first for all of us, especially us at Fresh Grounded, because we've not done one as far yet, an event far, and like we were going to stay the night and stuff like that. Just a reminder, the most important thing for us is to uphold our character in front of everybody and for ourselves, hold ourselves to a higher standard. Remember that we're representing Freshly Grounded, ultimately representing, representing Islam, as I mentioned last time. But this time what I want to say is that we have to remember that our goal today, inshallah, is really to serve the people. We want to serve the people of Manchester, and that's really like a like prophetic role and the role that the Sahaba used to have and an example is uh, we know so many stories from Umar ibn Khattab who said that um, 
who used to do a few like who used to do actions even Abu Bakr as Siddiq as the uh, when they were both uh, the Khalifa they would their goal would be to serve the people. We know about the famous story of Abu Bakr who used to after Fajr every day go and uh, clean and provide for the elderly lady and nobody ever knew she never even knew who it was. But there's other stuff like one thing that always comes to mind with these things is when Umar ibn Khattab when he lost his life. Um, may Allah be pleased with him. The first thing he said is have the people prayed. And that's something that we should be conscious of. As the Khalifa, as someone who's going through so much, he's still conscious of the people. And so today, we want to serve the people. So that means each other, that means serving the people of Manchester, that means every single person that we interact with. Our question in our own head should be how can I serve this person? And through that, Allah will elevate us. له ملك السماوات والأرض يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير. The thing is, we should we have? I think we should have it before the show starts. We're at a service station now. Yeah. Because you said can eat, and Ayman got a calorie deficit that we need to fulfill. Yeah. The Burger King. Burger King. We've got the vegan, the vegan way out. I think it's it. It's meant to be imitation of chicken. So yeah, my bites are a bit <laughs> uneven. It's not the most attractive. What did you have? Huh? I just I'm just having the coffee. You had McDonald's, didn't it? On your own? No, no I had the coffee. <laughs> you know what it is? When I eat this stuff, I don't eat for taste, I just eat for food. But no, it tastes like a corn. Corn? Yeah. So who's at the front? Shajil? Oh, wow, is that Shajil? And then who's here? Class 4 4. And then who's, who's this? Who's in Wolverhampton? He's going the wrong way. <laughs> oh, this guy. Bro, he's basically in Manchester. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We're going to switch drivers. Switch drivers. Who's mm -hmm. driving? You. I don't mind driving, that's fine. Yeah. Yusuf decided to go and not, he's not satisfied with his coffee and he, he, needs, he needs a filler. He needs, he needs to eat more. But are you satisfied with your food? Alhamdulillah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, I just hear bare noise here. He's kidding. <laughs> Oh, no, not here yet. But that's good that you could do the BTS here while Eamon's not here. Yeah. And he's doing it on that side. This is the best tape in the business. <laughs> and the best guy in the business. We believe in this Like we mentioned uh, just uh, just earlier on now, Jazakum um, Khairan for coming and uh, taking part in uh, this volunteering for Freshly Grounded. First and foremost, um, I just want to give a reminder um, to remind ourselves, each and every single one of us, to renew our intentions. Because we know that in the Amal of Niyat, that verily actions are judged by their intentions, right? So if we have the correct intentions, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would reward us for every single thing that we are doing today. Yo Bilal, yes. what are you doing today? I, I don't know man, I feel kind of useless, I can't lie. I wish I could be could be doing more, but today on stage, I think I'm doing a quiz. What's going on? You doing it again? I'm doing it again? Yeah. What is it? You're acting like you're working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, that's all. So there's, there's two in the pill and one speaker. Okay. So you need it until at least, for in the four, you need it for in about one hour from now. Yeah, but does that mean, is downstairs going to be open before then? Because we would need someone to close the door. Ricky comes on, uh, lights on. Honestly, just go here, take the 200. I need Yusuf to do other stuff right now. Stop. I'm very busy, sorry. I'm, I can't. Okay. Stress levels? At this moment in time, about 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Yeah, 9 out of 10. Don't ask me, bro. Don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I don't know, about 25 things to do. Test after test, but kept to be frequent. Two sinners came forward to start to redeem him. Work through his seasons, practically scheming to create that content. 
pack with some meaning. Did they go in the van? Bro, at the moment, wallahi, I'm not sure about anything. There's a lot of things that are going wrong. There's a lot of things that are going wrong. To create that concept, yeah. pack with some meaning. There's a lot of things that we left behind. I feel they like. came from the same society that they Give us, give us an update, bro. So basically, the update is is that we've got someone, we've got a few issues. Like um, we're trying to figure out a stool uh, situation with a stool because the screen's quite low, yep. and so if I'm standing in front of it, we're going to block the screen. But um, we're just dressing the stage right now. I've practiced my lines, my intro, and stuff like that. So it's like kind of we're a lot more prepared this time, which is good than Birmingham. That's positive. Mm -hmm. The negative is is that. When we come to a venue, we have the venue just a few hours before the show starts. And so we, we, we're trying to like figure out the venue and adjust the venue, as well as trying to get like stuff organized and prepare for 600 people to come in. As you go, yeah. Yes. Why, why are you recording, bro? This is like fire in the booth. We're trying to think about like rhymes and stuff like that. Oh no, my last one yeah. was grill, boil, bake, or fry. If you want to win this quiz, the chef is your guy. Wow. <laughs> but I'm thinking of a new one. Oh, wait, wait. Go on. Go on. Aim is saying that there's no shuma, I just want a signed shirt from Dan Juma. Oh. You read that? <laughs> huh? What's your one? Um, <laughs> I've got a couple, I'm but they are. Bro, I'm gonna uh, put you up. <laughs> Weak. So I might keep... Alright, one, three, right, cool. go. You ready, yeah? Yeah. Don't be rude. It's Bilal Sayyid. Pick me if you want to uplift. uplift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be rude. It's just Bilal just Sayyid. Slow, Pick slow me down. if you want to uplift your moods. There you go. Nah, that's not the reaction Whoa. I was looking for. You know? So when the lights are off, I should be entering. Both lights are off. The, the seven, 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 fourteen, seven, thirteen. I'm gonna have Sid up there, ready. I want you on by 8, 10 at the latest, yep. which is 45 minutes to an hour from now. Yeah, but it might end up being good today with pizza and stuff and drinks. Okay. Um, just you know me. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Mate, honestly, it took me from, from when I left my house to when I got off the M1 was two hours. Oh God. It was it was only about, I don't know, 18, 20 miles. And I you was made like, a good time though, that's good. But if you wanted some more, well now we're on tour. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce your host for this evening, Faisal Chowdhury. In a day, bro, tell us about your experience on stage. Um, I feel like, you know, I didn't get enough practice, didn't get, get enough time to, you know, prepare for my test. Yep. So, you know, flunked. I failed. You did well, I came, in, in I came intro, last. Right? Shattered. Bro, you've been running around all day, yeah? I need you to explain exactly what you've been doing today. So, we've got a few mics and they need to rotate between the different talents. 
so I am changing them up. And everyone that needs to be mic'd up is at the front of the event hall. So, <laughs> you know. So you're doing a little workout today? Well, bridge. Bridge. That's what I am. I need all the volunteers downstairs by 9 o'clock, inshallah, before the break. That's all the volunteers downstairs by 9 o'clock. For us, 10.30, when we do finish, you don't have to help out. Just do you, what you need to do, yeah? How's everything? Yes, yeah, good. Yeah, good. Family yeah. good? Family are great, yeah. Good. You look How about good you? as well, by the way. Well, I've been down the gym, I've got holiday soon, so. <laughs> How's everything? Good. Good. Nice to see you again. Likewise, bro. Everything good? Alhamdulillah. Yo, my name. Give us a Manny accent, bro. I actually don't have one. Oh. I really can't even attempt it. I don't have one. Well, you didn't give us the English accent either. I've only got one accent, that's Cockney. It's like Ben did it. Go on. Brothers and sisters, it's the next part of the show, and then we say, we're going to arrange some sweets. You look natural, yeah? so I'm just chilling here. I just come up to me and I'll be like. So, how did it go? Oh. Oh. Hey. Completely naturally, you just called me, just thinking, looking into the distance. Looking into that light. How the evening went. Alhamdulillah, the evening was amazing. And uh, it was just as great as Birmingham. Great turnout. We had around 600, 500 people here and just a lovely crowd. And I'm just now sitting here and contemplating. Cheese! Oh. Behind the scenes. How was the... Uh, time to go back to London. How was the hotel? The hotel was all right. Yeah. yeah slept comfortably. Can't complain. How yeah. are you? How's your, how's your sleep? Your hair's all... Doing the madness, isn't it? Doing the madness. I need to reset it, bro. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, no, I don't talk to you right now. What's wrong with this guy? I'm he's, not a morning guy, He's bro. not a morning guy. You get it? Fears will come into my room. Uh, good morning, we are... Bro, I'm dead. I just, you look at the door, I just woke up. This guy is screaming. You see, you morning people, yeah. If I'm going to be completely honest, you scare me. I also look up to you. Dear Fawaz, you're in Wasim's car. Shayan and Ayman, you're in Yusuf Ali's car. You're out of Salam alaikum. Alaikum. How you doing, bro? How's it man's going? Alhamdulillah, like, good, good. That's, that's deep, man. How about work, man? What you say? What were you doing? Me? You were snoring. I wasn't He's snoring. There's the main man. No reason whatsoever why. How you doing, Kareem? Alhamdulillah, how are you doing? I'm doing good, bro. You need to turn that camera around because you look like you didn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or you had a very good sleep. I, I didn't know. sleep, bro. <laughs> Most of the Muslims that contact me would just be like, hey, you know, caught the episode, from brilliant, thanks for taking an interest in Islam and speaking to kindly of it, all of that stuff. And then, and then loads of people were saying like, I hope you haven't received any pressure. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, like, what are they talking about? Yeah. And then suddenly like a few messages <laughs> came through like, my brother. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> You use your domestic You and your camera use your I can't hear you. That's the issue. Did you find the travel and and uh, he wants the travel as in kind of this part of the city, uh, this part of the country, like up north in Manchester? So just uh, I'd say. Congratulations. Congratulations. Well, Anytime any of you are in Manchester, you know, you're welcome. Anytime. Yeah. Have you lost some weight, man? <laughs> <laughs>